bedankt. Welcome to Desert Giant Gaming. This is Jake here with a new series, Pyre. I know I've been recently playing Transistor, which is another super giant game. And I've been really excited to, uh, for Pyre since I played it at PAX East up in Boston earlier this year in uh, March. Uh, Pyre is, uh, I actually didn't delve into the story when I was up there. I played mostly the, just the multiplayer, which unfortunately this game from what I've read is so far does not have online multiplayer. Um, it's a small development team of 12 people, so it's kind of hard for them to do that. Hopefully they push that out later because I think this game would be phenomenal as a... Not necessarily eSport, but I think it can kind of go along those, the ways of like Rocket League and things like that. And a lot of people have that same comparison. So let's get into this narrative a little bit and see how it goes. Your days in the downside brought uh, brought slow loneliness, lonesome agony. Now you lie yielding to the elements. Something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in a strange attire. Masked woman. Okay. Uh, hmm. Another piece of the filthic spells onto the Commonwealth. Masked something. <laughs> See, right on schedule. Would you? Uh, what I tell you? You told us we would find some someone alive. Some day I said. Some day I said we'd find someone alive. Some day, just not today, I guess. But uh, don't be. Don't be glum, you know I see you frowning underneath the mask. Masked man. Okay, so we have masked man, woman, and thing. Looks like she's breathing. It, still, it seems she still is. Then, set aside, I shall send her to a better place. She's a she? Can you just... Can you people just tell? Hang on, the markings on the rags. I think she's one of them. But look at her. She's beyond our help. And we are beyond hers. Broken, shaking, starving, pos pos probably diseased. Yeah, L uh, good luck with uh, that there, chum. See you on the, uh, back on the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the day is grown. Di uh, the day grows dim. You have uh, you have at best an hour. <clears throat> Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Hello, my friend. Uh, don't care, don't care who you are or what you did. None of this matters anymore. All of us were equal. Nothing here. You are patched, and he gives you a drink. You ache. Uh, he blind, binds your wounds. You you hunger, and uh, you ache, and he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. A little by little, it helps. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. No, come on. You sense no ill uh, intent, and in, as he helps you, helps you up and leads you to uh, an old, uh, sorry, old black wagon. Nothing like the st uh, stately vessel that paraded Commonwealth criminals through Abaster streets. Hedwin beckons you to the black wagon. Of course. So it is kind of a, uh, from what I understood, the story kind of reads like a um, graphic, uh, not graphic novel, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, the words, it'll come back to me, like the Dick and Rapa kind of style of games where it's a visual novel, that's it. Uh, the weather beaten wagon as, uh, is as much of a mess in, inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature talking, taking stock of an ancient looking book. I'm back. Thanks for letting me know. And with a guest. She loosens the clasp, clasp on her mask. Ah, so she actually has freaking horns. Okay, cool. You can call me Jordel. Jorid. Jordiel? Jordiel? Jordiel. Jodiel? Jodiel. Uh, and as for myself, the small one circles with his mask. Uh, Jordiel. Jord, uh, yeah, Jorreal. Soon assistant. And it's a freaking dog. Ow. That is to say, 
you may regard to me uh, by the name Rookie Greentail. So, Rookie. Rookie. Interesting characters. I lo the, this art style is, as you saw from my plays through, play through a bash, uh, not bash, uh, transistor, that their art style is phenomenal and they are a very talented developer. Um, such pleasant, such pleasantries out, out of the way. The horned woman then no motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as as she speaks. Can she do it? Hope so. I haven't asked her yet. What then? Where are you waiting for? Hey, yes, sister. Nice meeting you. All you uh, and all you tell. Uh, wow. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. Do you know how to read or what? I apparently can't read very well. Uh, I'll admit it. You confirm their suspicions. Uh, there is no, no use trying to hide it now. Well then, glory days, because it just, just so happens my associates and I, we've got ourselves some nice material here, for someone like you. Reader, you have, you still live, uh, thanks to us. We asked for you for something modest in exchange. Open up one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. Have a look. Hmm. Sorry. You pick up one of the old, old and heavy volumes bound in materials you do not recognize. A formal welcome, un uh, welcome, uh, undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are the exile of, the, uh, are an exile of the downs, uh, downside such as we, the eight who wrote the book of this right. That you possess it and have capacity to clean its, uh, its words in testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path for your forsaken, uh, for this forsaken place to freedom, homecoming, and glory. The stars themselves shall be you, your guide. Air. Oh, I missed an R. Are the uh? That's wow. That's letters from me off. Um, are the turning of the years for sol uh, solstice seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of the eight, as they align as shown. Um, yeah, this word right here is throwing me. It's shown. Um. Arrive at the Tribune and Clyde Ray Minute. Oblige the voice to tell, uh, oblige the voice that tells you more. No, I want to continue reading. The book describes the uh, complicated method through which the exiles uh, can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through uh, uh, through your mind as headwind gets your attention. Well, well, friend, what do you uh, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. If I knew this would be as, uh, if I knew, realized it was going to be as many, much speaking, I would have tried to cancel the voices. Here we go. Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? Yes. So soon after your sentence into exile, it is true what the book says. You can be free again. Hmm. Perhaps not you yourself. Makes you wonder what uh, someone worthy of what I can do. Yet again, another great narrator. The path towards salvation. As a bastion. The rights. The one way. Yes, to that's what I wanted to get to. Though in your case. This is why I played at PAX, you the rights, which kind of, this is, I guess, a tutorial. Ooh, okay, some different... It worked. So it's true. Yeah, but... What now? Where'd the reader, uh, and where'd the reader go? She shouldn't be, uh, she should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in her. She could abandon us. She won't. You look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. 
Rita, we aim to free ourselves. We will not we will not grow old and die in the downside. And now I swear to you, when we when we get out here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom, uh, you focus all your mental uh, facilities to do as heaven asked. So let's go. Let's dunk some balls. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. So yeah, you go walk over, pick up the ball. You can pass it. For they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. There we go. Only one I saw can move at a time. So yeah, whoever has the orb or whoever doesn't have the orb can you can rotate too. Yeah, I'm oh by the way, I'm playing with my Steam controller actually. Uh, because my PS4 controller is having lots of issues with. Yes, the exile Yeah, so depending which character you use, apparently. Um, I guess like based on size and speed and whatnot, they get they move more. So since he you captured last time, he put you at a disadvantage next round. See now, and everyone has a little aura around them. If they don't have, if you don't have the orb, if you have the orb, then you have an aura around you. See now that he has it, he doesn't ha have the aura anymore. Should also be able to charge a shot. Is your wrong doing accept it as a part of you? So I'm assuming I'll get the ability to shoot things. There we go. Correctly done. There we go. The narrator kind of reminds me of a mix of uh, the guy from a little big planet and uh, pit people, which is uh. uh Okay, who, uh, who makes pit? Uh, Behemoth. Behemoth makes, uh, More than pit people. From the likes of you. Okay. The orb once more. The orb okay. The now I should be able to learn to throw it. Now I say jump. Leap with all your strength. There we go. Okay. She can jump over people. Yas. Haruki returns, but then now the other person is gone. Oh. And. Oop. Too much dancing. Oh, wow. I got some cute dancing. Oh, I'm doing, <laughs> making dumb mistakes against stupid AI. Oh, yep. I, uh, so yeah, you just keep going to get more. See, this time I got more that time. Oh, jerk. Oh, wow, I'm being stupid. I'm just trying to do some fun things. See, not all, apparently not all characters will have jumps as well. Uh, certain characters play a little different uh, from what I've seen so far. Got him! And is that it? Nope, not yet. So yeah, you see that I like how the actually the actually didn't even need to do that. Yeah, they're moving super slow, so your demon is banished. Ah, me being silly. This is gonna happen too. I'm being stupid. Now. There we go. Dunks. That should be it. Took way longer than it should have. But. Now you 
understand. Okay. Or do you? This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. I Let's see where it goes. Hope you get another one in before I can end this. I wonder, is this the but book that's talking to me? Who is this talking to me? You never listen. Hmm. During the rites, only the exile can, on each side, is permitted to move at any time given. There must, uh, the three must act as one. So yeah, just rules the. The others are um are still picking themselves up after. As you awaken. Well, that was something. That was our way out. So yeah, so so now we just have all the stars, or what? Supposedly, Raider, come let us let us regard the night. I'm probably not gonna keep those voice. Jordan leads you outside where the night. Uh, the clear night sky awaits. Now show us before the howlers catch us, catch our scent. Where shall the rites commence? Seek out our destination. So me it's. Hmm hmm it's this big kind of thing. Okay. That's where we're going. Hmm. Hmm. Two hundred leagues to east. The right the ridge of Go Go Go. Great, we're supposed to uh great, and we're supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon according to the stars. You soon will uh you should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. So it's me talking. That then we must best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. <laughs> what do you say, Jordy? Jordy all turns to you, studying you. Rita, do you do you deceive us? Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, sister. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom, the rights is out of the key, and it, and about. It's a lot to take in. Join them. Okay, yeah, let's go. Ooh, the achievement unlocked. The reader. Well, I think we're gonna end this part here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll pick it right back up after this in the next one. Thank you.